Hi everybody, it's Ramona, and I'm here with a small little uh, colonial candle haul. I bought some Simmer Snaps. Uh, most are good, but we have one little glitch, which I will get to in a minute. Um, and all these were uh, on sale. Most of them were 50 cents, and two I think were a dollar 80 each. So not not a bad haul. Um, and first of all, let me start by saying that Colonial Candle, their Simmer Snaps, have this little hole in the lid that everybody talks about. And I did see another reviewer last week. Uh, she, what she did, you can either, some people are covering it up with tape, or you can also just flip the lid around. So the hole is actually over here now because I flipped this, the cardboard thing around. So we'll see if that helps, I don't know. But as I'm sitting here now, I have six different ones in front of me. The one that is jumping out that I can smell right out the bat is the Clementine Cupcake. And this is the one that uh, Brenda from Pretty Polka Dots ordered like a million of. And so I think it was good. I ordered four. So that's a, gonna be a really good one. I haven't melted, I did melt one of these yet, and the one I talk about. Um, so that's gonna be a really good one. The next day, uh, the next one, sorry, is Snow Day. And it's in a pretty blue wax, I see blue. And um, do you know what? I don't have the scent notes and I should have done that, but I didn't. But um, when another reviewer uh, reviewed it, she said she smelled some peppermint and a different reviewer said she smelled laundry and I smell a little bit of both, mostly laundry, um, but in the background you can get a little bit, a little bit of peppermint and I think that's gonna be good. I might, that might even be that might even be good, I think, in the bedroom. I was thinking it was gonna be a winter scent. I was gonna save it, but actually I think it's gonna be a pretty good uh, bedroom scent. So I'm gonna save that to the, for the bedroom. And I also, I'm cleaning my hands now because this wax is super soft, super soft. Um, the next one is Vanilla Eggnog. And it's just a cream colored wax, also very soft. But this one is really good. Um, Cause I love eggnog. I love the smell of eggnog. I love to drink eggnog, especially if it's spiked. Sorry. And uh, this, I've had other eggnog scents before and all it is is kind of like a vanilla creamy scent. But this one, you can smell the nutmeg and you can smell a yeah, spicy element to the uh, eggnog. And I'm, I think I'm really gonna like that one as well. And I bought uh, two of those and that one I'm probably gonna repurchase. Uh, the next one is a sweet iced tea, and this is uh, an orange wax as well. This one seems a little bit harder. I don't know if the formulation is different, but it's not as soft and messy as the other ones. Uh, and definitely, definitely you can smell the ice. It just smells like iced tea. Sweet iced tea, like Whataburger, whatever, McDonald's. This one's good, and I really love tea scents. My favorite tea scent is Tea Time by Sensationals. Um, I also have um, oh, the one from Destination Wax called, I think it's called London Tea. I'm not, I think it's called London Tea uh, from the Destination Box. And I also purchased, finally, after everybody else has been talking about it, uh, Tea and Lemon. So, and that's really good too. Now this one has a but this one is a little bit sweeter. This one is a little more lemon. This has a little bit more sugar, but they're both really good. I'm so glad I finally got my hands on the tea and lemon. I bought uh, three of those. All right, next is uh, lemongrass and cilantro because I love lemongrass as it relates to Thai food. Uh, and this is just really fresh and clean. Uh, and it does smell like lemongrass. I'm, I'm not getting too much cilantro because I also like cilantro, mostly lemongrass, uh, but it's just a nice clean, if you just like fresh scents in your house, uh, I think you will like that one. And the last one is the disappointment of the bunch. And uh, it is juniper berry. And the reason I bought this, what started this whole uh, purchase at Colonial Candle was uh, I just came back from Banff, Alberta last month. And when we were up there, we were surrounded by lots of juniper bushes and they all had their juniper berries on them. And just for somebody else's um, note, 
these are juniper berries. Somebody was trying to find the sweet berry scent with the juniper. It's not, these are the juniper berries on the juniper bush. Just for clarification there. But anyhow, so when I came back, I just loved the scent of the juniper berries and the juniper bush. So I was online searching for juniper berry wax melts and up popped um, colonial candles. So perfect. So then I was watching a few videos and Jay Alford, Alford, Jay, you know your name, uh, had posted a haul. I think this haul was like maybe a year or two ago, but he had bought some juniper berry candles, I believe. I'm not sure about the melts, but I know he, he uh, reviewed some candles of the, the candle and he really really enjoyed it and it's like okay I'm sold that's all I need sign me up so I purchased eight because that's how I roll so they just arrived today and what a disappointment um, they're all it looks like old wax they're all mottled greenish grayish beigey soft nastiness and they're all like this so I, as soon as I looked at them, it was like, oh crap, really? Um, and so I put a couple in, I put two cubes in two different burners, melters, in two different parts of the house. And um, they had little to no throw at all. So, and I bought them on sale. So I was like, well, that's great. I'm just kind of stuck with it. But I did call customer service and spoke with Amber. Um, and she was very friendly. She um, wanted me to take some pictures of the wax. So I took all eight of them. I took pictures of all eight of them and uh, sent them to Amber. And so I think I'm going to get a store credit for the eight that I bought at $1.80 each. So, I mean, I guess that's, that's pretty good. I can't complain about that. So um, I am going to repurchase some more. And there's more on the list that I wanted to order. Some more Christmas scents were on sale for 50 cents each, like frankincense and fur. Um... Uh, where's my, I have a list. Oh my gosh, I don't want to get too crazy here. Where's my list? Oh yeah, Current and Holly. That sounded really good. Sea Salt and Yuzu, Savannah Moss, Frankincense and Fur, and anyway, some other winter ones. But So that's my haul. And like I said, I'm really totally pleased, especially for them being 50 cents, um, except for the Juniper Berry, which really bums me out because that's the whole reason I uh, ordered this, made this order. So uh, I hope this was helpful and uh, leave me some feedback and everybody have a good day. See you soon. Bye.